Hi everyone, it's Mike here. So after last Thursday's historical EU referendum here in the UK, um, I was feeling a little bit apprehensive about the future. And although I'm not an overtly political person and I try to keep politics, religion or any kind of emotive subject out of my videos, um, that's not always possible sometimes when you're trying to um, create art because your thoughts, your feelings, your emotions are what goes into the art that you create. And art journaling is one of those, um, I won't say disciplines, but one of those areas where it's fueled by your thoughts and your feelings and your emotions. So occasionally you might get something which is an external effect that has its impact in the page that you're trying to create. So this page is one of those. Um, it was unavoidable, it was in my mind, therefore that's what came out. So this is the page that I created and I'll join with you back again at the end. So today I'm working in my 10x10 journal and I'm going to tear up some old European maps that I had from an encyclopedia um, and I'm going to use these as my underpaper for my page. I'm going to be sticking these down just using the map medium from Mod Podge. And because it's quite a repetitive process watching somebody stick down the entire of a page, I'm going to get about halfway through and then I'll skip to the end. My page is now completely covered with the fragments of the European maps, so I'm just going to grab a pair of scissors and just trim off the excess where some of those map fragments went over the edges. So I'm all trimmed, neat and tidy and everything is dry, it's time to add some colour. I'm going to begin by adding a base coat of white acrylic paint. This is the titanium white paint from acrylic paint from Reeves. I could have used gesso just as easily, but I wanted to use acrylic in this case. And as you can see, I'm applying the paint with a baby wipe rather than a brush. And then out comes the heat gun just to give it a bit of a help to dry colour is the pale powder blue from Reeves again so I'm going to this time use a sponge which is a bit of a rough craft sponge and I'm just going to apply this powder blue to the top half of my page. And my next colour is the pale olive again from Reeves and I'm going to do exactly the same thing with the green paint with another piece of sponge and this time I'm going to blend the two colours together. And again grab the heat gun to give it a help with the drying. So next I've taken out an old 6x6 paper pad from my mind's eye called Dilly Dally. Now this one dates from 2012 and I've never used it. It was still sealed. So I'm going to use up this um, because it's been hanging around for far too long. So these are going to form the focal point to my page. Now what I'm going to do is I wanted to create some kind of row of houses. So I'm going to use these papers and I'm going to create some quirky houses using the papers um, for the main body, the windows and also the roofs of the houses too.
So now that the basic shapes of my house is, the main structure of the house, uh, is cut out, I'm just going to play with the positioning on the page. It probably will change when I stick them down. In fact, it does change when I stick them down. So I just keep jiggling them around, maybe turning them around a bit until I'm happy with the placement. And then all I'm going to do is just stick them down using this multi-purpose glue from Collol. And now that the main part of the building is stuck down, I can start cutting out the roofs from the wooden effect pages. So now that I'm happy with the shape and the size of the roofs, I can stick those down to the page too. I'm just going to use the same glue. Now that they're all stuck down, I'm going to leave them to dry for about 20 minutes, so I'm going to go and put the kettle on. So while the kettle was boiling, I took one of the other sheets that had a kind of checkerboard pattern on it, but only a pale one, and just cut out the shapes for my windows and my doors for my buildings. And I'm just going to stick those all down using the same glue that I did for the roof and the main building structures. And it really didn't take that long to do all this, just enough time for the kettle to boil. So I'm just going to finish sticking these down and while they're drying I'm all going to make a coffee. So coffee obtained, I just wanted to add an attic window using a circle punch from my collection using the same paper and I've just added that to the roof of that third house. Now using this small floral punch from Stampin' Up I'm just going to punch out some flower shapes from a piece of the red um, patterned paper from the same cardstock so everything is going to match. Because these flowers are quite small uh, I'm not going to use the multi-purpose this time, I'm just going to use this um, standard PVA craft glue in um, this fine applicator bottle that I have. So I'm just going to put a little spot of that glue on the back of each one and just place my little flowers along the base of the houses. I think creating a page using up your old patterned paper stacks like this is a great way to make use of something that you might have had lying around for ages and it just breathes new life into the product and you can create something really really cute just by using up old stock. So while they're drying I'm just going to grab my scissors and just trim off the excess of those roofs from the edge of my page. Next step, because I've only used glue to stick these down, I wanted to make sure that everything was sealed down and everything was nice and tight and secure, so I decided to go over the entire page with the matte medium just to give it a final coat and to seal everything in. And now that I'm happy I've caught everything, I'm just going to give it a bit of a hand to dry. Now everything's all dry, it's time to add in the detail. So I've taken out my food ball pen and I can now start to add in my doodle details around the page and just to the windows, the doors and to the roofs too.
And now that I've added the detail around the buildings, it only seemed fair that I also bring in um, some of that doodling around the flowers too, just to make sure it all ties together and looks more of a cohesive page. Because I know that the food bowl takes a little time to dry I thought I'd just give it a bit of a hand because I wanted to get on and add a little bit more detail. So now that the black pen's dry I'm bringing out my Signal White Opaque Rollerball pen and I'm going to just add some highlights and a few little doodles just around the page just to kind of give the page a bit of a lift. So I'm happy with those highlights, so time to move on to the final stage and for that I've taken out my Tag label maker and I'm printing off my street sign which I'm just going to peel the backing off because it is self adhesive and then I'm going to stick that to one of the houses and making sure that I bring it all together I'm just going to add a little bit of a black border around my street sign too and that is the page complete. So there you go, although not an overtly political page, it just shows that your emotions and your thoughts and feelings can go into a page. You can still create something, you know, which is very, very appealing, um, even though you might not be feeling the best. So I hope you enjoyed watching this page. Um, if you did, please remember to give it a thumbs up and if you haven't subscribed to my YouTube channel already, you can do so by clicking this button over here. And I just want to say a quick thank you to everybody who has subscribed to my YouTube channel because I've just recently gone over 7,000 subscribers and that's absolutely fantastic. So it's because of you, it's because of your thumbs up, it's because of you sharing my videos with all your friends that new people are finding me. So keep on giving those thumbs up and keep on sharing those videos. It's all from me. I'll see you all again real soon. Bye for now.